is her place. These flooded marshlands of a place called Mombo, in Botswana's Okavango Delta. It is Africa's Garden of Eden, with fertile floodplains filled with nutrients and greenery. It is the very best leopard territory you can imagine. And this is where Lachedema must carve out a place for herself, defend her space, and disappear in the mosaic of the swamp and bush. There is another leopard here, resting comfortably in the warm embrace of an ancient baobab tree. Leopards have climbed this same tree for over 500 years, generation after generation, but now this leopard is queen here. And this is Lacadema's mother, a strong-willed leopardess that tolerates no intruders in her piece of Africa. None that is but this male. He asks no permission. He's the dominant leopard from the burnt ebony tree to the south, a huge beast who prowls through her territory and those of six other females as well. He is a scar-faced survivor, hunter of at least 36 species in his range. Few are immune from his special talents. Variety is the key to his success. Specialist hunters die when their prey dies out, but leopards simply switch to their next victim. As a result, leopards stalk the forests from the tip of Africa to the eastern edge of Asia, from coasts to mountaintops, the most prolific great cat on earth. It all started for this cub with the unique spot three years ago to the day. and explosive affair, with snarling, exposed teeth and fur flying. When leopards mate, their intensity shudders through the forest. The couple shun food for a week and mate almost continuously. <coughs> And then, quite suddenly, they part company for months, even years. Lachedema is the local Setswana name for the lightning that rolls in at that time of the year. It means light from the sky or above. Three months later, the new dominant male from the burnt ebony tree became a father. Lachedema was born. She first emerged into the sunlight at eight days, senses alive, bristling with interest. Her eyes locked on something wonderful and enticing straight away. She ventured out like an explorer. From that day on, the forest would be changed. Every leopard needs to learn quickly how to climb with confidence, to master heights for hunting, and to escape danger. It takes time. A 
And from the very beginning, a cub must draw on that deep inner instinct as a predator to stalk, hunt and kill. For the survivors, it is hardwired. The first few days will always determine their odds. Lacodema's first attack was a good start. Her intense focus on the kill, important. Her inherited technique, almost perfect, but she lacked something vital. She was still too innocent to understand the obvious signs of danger. Her mother knew them intimately. They have attacked before. Twice they killed her cubs. Daily they dog her every move, waiting for yet another macabre free meal. she dropped her guard, they had swooped down. Now, even though she was vicious in her defense, they'd been found, the den revealed. It would just be a matter of time before they came back. All her hopes were now invested in this latest cub. Leopard's first instinct is to hide and stay hidden. Invisibility is their best weapon and best defense. So when the news of their den rippled through the forest that day, the mother knew it was time to move on. It would be the first of many moves for the young Lachadima. Each time, the cub would go into a typical cat freeze the instant her mother's jaws clamped gently round her neck. It was her earliest instinct. To feed them both, her mother needed to hunt. To hunt, she had to leave her cub vulnerable to the things that lurk in the darkness and prey on the innocent. Already little Lachadima knew one voice in the frightening cacophony of the dawn chorus, her mother's secret message to her that she was coming home. But she heard other calls as well. Nearby the den, there had been growls and cries of agony in the night. Some hapless leopard, an interloper himself, had been caught out in the open. A fatal error in lion country. Fate had saved Lacadema. The lions on a direct route to her den were distracted by some more pressing adventure. Each dawn was a desperate mission to find her way back to her cub undetected. For a cat that prefers to live like a ghost, running a gauntlet of detection demands almost military stealth and planning. The local baboon troop is the hardest to avoid. Over the years, the troop has grown from a few dozen to nearly a hundred members. They know their local leopard and always keep a wary eye scanning the forest floor for any sign of her.
So each and every return to the den is a victory. Each time that Lakadima survived another night was a success that none of the other cubs in five years ever achieved. Mother and daughter lived one day at a time. <laughs>